Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to look at how you can assign students work with GIMKit. So what you're going to do after you log in is click on the assignments button over here on the left. And then you're going to click new assignment. Then you're going to pick your kit. So let's say I'm right now I'm on Spanish one lesson four, but let's say I wanted to go to Spanish one lesson five for my next assignment and click that. I'll pick a due date. And then I'll pick which class I want this for. So I'm going to pick Spanish one for my class. And then I'm going to pick, uh, I can give it a title if I want to. So maybe Spanish one lesson five, for example. And then my target cache right here. When you're first starting GimKit, I would suggest actually maybe making it a lower number, like $500,000. But when you get higher and the kids get used to it and they get further along with their vocabulary, I would suggest you do at least a million, uh, anywhere up to a hundred million or even a billion dollars because the students will complete those. And I can, I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. So once you've got all those things set up, you can click create assignment. And then when you do that, it'll take you to a screen where you can share that with your students. I'm gonna go ahead and do this actually right now so you can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna create this assignment. And then this screen comes up. Here's a link that I can use. I can copy it and then go to their Google Classroom. I can shoot it to them with Remind 101 uh, and then send it to them and they're ready, they're ready to go. Now, what this looks like when they complete the kit is, so if I go back into my assignments right here, I'm not gonna click this one because obviously no one's done this one yet because I just said it, but here's my last one for Spanish one lesson four. It was due five days ago. And what you can do is you just scroll down, oh, click on the class, sorry, Spanish one. And then you, when you, the green arrow means that they've completed it and it even shows you with what accuracy uh, they completed it at. And there's also an, an orange or a lighter orange, yellow, or whatever color one. That means they completed it, but it was late. And then of course the red flag means they have not completed the assignment. And uh, clearly about a third of my students did it, but I don't require that they do these assignments because I've had students come back with me and telling me that they've gotten really close to the end of the, the amount. So like this one was set for $500,000. Like they'll say they get to the $500,000, but then it will just kick them out and they have to start all over again. And the students that tell me this, I believe them, they're trustworthy kids. So there's some sort of a glitch in there sometimes with the students. I'm not sure what causes it. It doesn't happen the majority of, of the time, however. So I, but I just do this for fun usually. And I actually tie the assignments to their uh, seasons. I'm going to do another video on what the seasons are here uh, in just a second. So check that out if you want to learn more about the seasons on GimKit. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.